everybody, I'm Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I am filming a March favorites video. Well, and there's one fail, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. So I hope that you stick around because these are some of my favorite videos and I got some good stuff. <music> So first of all, I wanted to once again thank Dossier for inviting me to be a brand ambassador on their team. This is the second month of my little stint with them. One more to go. So I wanted to tell you guys about another fragrance. If you have not heard of Dossier, they are a uh, perfume company that does inspired by fragrances. So really expensive brands like Chanel and Tom Ford and... Uh, Givenchy and Jo Malone. Um, so I wanted to tell you about another fragrance that I just tried. This one is inspired by Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Oh, oh you guys, it is springtime and I'm feeling fruity. That's oh, right, I said it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, top notes, black currant green leaves, middle notes, honey and nectarine, base notes, peach and vetiver. If you can say no to that, then we're, we just like different fragrances, I guess. <laughs> so uh, I really, really like this one, you guys. It smells so good. I For winter, I've been liking more of like a spicy warm. This is definitely springy. Oh, fruity and like with a little bit of sweetness from the honey. It's so good. And if you've never tried Dossier, what you don't know is that you get a little tiny sample bottle with your big bottle in here. And so you try the sample bottle first. And if you don't like it, then you return the whole thing before you crack open your big mama and you get a full refund. So, I mean, what's there to lose? The prices are like $29, $39, basically a fraction of the price that you would pay if you went to like a perfume counter in a department store. And the quality is so good and the scents are I have a coupon code with Dossier. It's Emmylou10 and I will link that below. And also I will provide their uh, website information, but I highly recommend Dossier. The next thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is um, my fingernails because usually you are used to seeing me looking a little bit bedraggled, a little scruffly in my videos. Uh, typically, uh, my they're just ugly. <laughs> so um, a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I needed to like help myself help me help you help me to feel better about me and i wasn't gonna lose like 12 pounds overnight that wasn't on the docket so why do i feel like a hair stuck to me could be my beard hair I should that. No. uh i tried to go for this bun look i wanted to be like youthful and cute and I miss the mark. I miss the mark. It's rather elderly, but it's too late now. So here we are. <laughs> um, okay, my nails. I needed to do something <laughs> and fingernails were something that I could start with. So I decided to check out Kiss Nails and I have checked these out. I bought Kiss Nails before. I liked the pair that I bought before. They were a color. They weren't nude. But I saw these at CVS and they are the Real Short Kiss Salon Acrylic French Nude. And I think the key to these is real short because that makes them look a lot more like a natural fingernail. Like uh, these are two weeks old tomorrow. I will have had them on 14 days and they still look pretty good. Now my natural nails are growing out, so you can kind of see that they are um, growing out a little bit, but they look really good, and I love this natural. They weren't like so French manicure, like homecoming dance circa 2000. So I really liked 
these and they are easy to put on. It comes with a little um, stick to push back your cuticles. And then I bought this little nipper thing, nipper, at, I wanna say the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Um, and I want to get a better one. This one works, but I, now that I know that I really like it and it really helps, I want to get a better one. But these, basically you can do your own manicure at home and they're not as hard on your nails as going to the salon and getting like acrylic nails. Um, and they're easy, they're easy to use. So like I push back my cuticles and file them down and then you just rough up the tops of your nails a little bit so that they're not super smooth and you use the glue that's provided in here and find the ones that fit your nail shape the best and bada bing bada boom it's it's amazing they're so good and what I found is that when my nails look pretty and not like a little ferret has been nibbling them um, I take better care of my hands in general which I bought this cuticle oil. Oh, you guys. Mm. I bought this cuticle oil on Amazon. It's Cuccio? Cuccio? <laughs> I'll link it below. Um, natural, natural, luxury spa uh, cuticle oil, revitalizing milk and honey. Oh my God, you guys, I love this stuff. I bought this in February, I wanna say. And this is how much I've used. <laughs> I, oh, I love this cuticle oil. I've never been a cuticle oil person ever. Um, but having nice nails has made me want to take better care of my cuticles so that they looked nice. And now that I've started using this stuff, I'm obsessed because the smell is divine. It smells so good and it soaks in really fast. And I just feel like my cuticles, you guys, I feel like, like, a, a, like a, a fancy human. And I put it on my feet. Was that necessary? Probably not. I put it on my feet before I go to bed at night, uh, my heels. I love it. And it was like $6. So I will be ordering another bottle uh, ASAP. I mean, it looks, they look a hell of a lot better than they ever looked before. So, and I guess the other thing that goes along with that is I've noticed that when I do get a little bit of skin that starts to like peel on the side of your nail, um, or like on the side of your finger, usually I'd be like, which is gross for so many reasons, global pandemic notwithstanding, but I have learned that I just need to leave it alone until I have my nippers and then just clip it. Do not try and chew it off. Don't try and bite it. Ugh. Emily, you look like an animal. So I really tried to hold myself off and just trim the little part that is like peeling and not go at it with my freaking teeth. It's like a ferret. So there we go. That's my nails for you because I know some of you have been asking. And then I think they're easy to take off too. The first time I just popped them off after like a week and a half because I had to go to work. Um, or you can soak them in like acetone. Um, and I they're not as bad for your nails as the salon ones, I know, because you're not grinding your own nail like down super far. So um, that is a fave. Uh, Speaking of going to work, <laughs> I am a nurse and in our staff bathroom, somebody put out this little like drawer that they made and they put like tampons and panty liners. And then they put these little Summer's Eve active cleansing cloths in the bottom drawer, like little personal, personally wrapped ones like this. And A, I was like, well, who is this sweet human being that is looking out for all of her fellow co-workers. I work in the NICU, so it's a lot of women. So, um, and one man, Dan. <laughs> but I never tried these. I mean, I love a fresh feeling, don't get me wrong, but usually I will just like whip out a baby wipe or something because we have about a zillion of those still, even though I don't have babies anymore. We still buy baby wipes. But these are the Summer's Eve Active Cleansing Cloths. Cools with a boost of freshness, pH balanced, removes odor and sweat. 
I don't really need to say much more. You know what they're for, but they are just really nice. We're entering the season of sweats. Yes. And sometimes you just need a cleansing cloth on the go. I can't be the only one. Speaking of feeling like a new woman, I don't, 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 I got a new bra. I got somehow used to just wearing sports bras because they're comfortable, no fuss, no muss, you throw it on, but then you always just look like a giant, tiny, well, or large uniboob, just whoop. And um, I got this bra and I really, really love it. It does not have an underwire, uh, but it is supportive and lifting and separating. It is Auden, Auden from Target, The Bliss. Um, it is so soft, you guys. And like I said, no underwire, but it supports you somehow. It's got this like underneath part. And um, it's just flattering and no more uniboobie. Uh, I wear a 36B and I will warn you once I, when I picked it up from Target and I took it out of the package, I was like, this is going to be humongous. Look at this thing. My boobies are not that big, but it looks bigger because of this bottom part. Like the cup is actually not that big um, because my boobies are not that big, um, but it fits, it fits me really, really well. The band size is nice. Uh, yeah. I would say true to size, very soft, washes well. I really like it, really like it, out in. I will try and link it if I can. Another comfortable thing that has been on my bod a lot um, are these pajamas from Costco. <laughs> um, they are Midnight. Well, is that the brand, really? I thought there was a different, I thought there was like a brand brand. No, the brand is Midnight <laughs> and I got them in a size large and they are so soft. I can't even describe to you. And um, I know that they sell a couple different brands at Costco, but I just liked this pattern. So I bought these and oh my, I guess we can tell what I like. Loser. These are so soft, you guys, so soft. So it's like these pajama panty things, not panties, pajama pants. They have a drawstring and then this shirt. So it's that like slinky kind of material. It's sort of a V-neck and it's this kind of gray animal-y print. I think it's so cute and they're really, really soft. Oh my gosh. And if they're not dirty, then they're on my butt. So um, one more thing that I really enjoy is these silicone watch bands. I ordered them off Amazon um, and the three pack was like $8 or something. And I got this purple one, this dark blue one and a gray. Perfect. I love them so much and it was cheap. I don't know why I never thought about ordering different color bands but you can order any color under the sun that you want. I have the uh, Fitbit Versa. I think it's the Versa. This is like two years old now, um, but I really like it. And it came with a like pink peachy band and I just never really thought about changing it. But then somebody was wearing a cute lavender band and I was like, where'd you get that? And they were like, Amazon, doy. So um, yeah, check that out. If you only have one band, what are you doing with your life? You can get so many, you can change them with your outfits. So very cool. I'll link them below. I'm probably here going to get some summer colors. Um, these are more winter colors. Um, and the last thing is a fail, a mighty, mighty fail. It is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 25% AHA, 2% BHA Exfoliant Peel Rinse Off Treatment. Blah, 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 blah. I I saw the ads on YouTube, like I'm sure you've seen the ads on YouTube. My skin has never looked better. I am going makeup free for the first time. No, 
it doesn't do anything. I feel like it doesn't do anything. I ran out of my beloved pads, facial pads that were in my first favorites video, the Dr. Nassif, Nassif MD, those pads that they sold at Costco for a little while. Um, they stopped selling them at Costco and now I have to like order them and they're $45 now. What? So I was like trying to be cheap and I thought I'd try this. I mean, it was, it, it was like 38 or something. So I don't know why I didn't just order the pads, but this like sucked me in because the advertising and I thought it was going to be good. And A, I don't notice any difference whatsoever. B, it smells so bad. Oh, oh, I literally, I can handle bad smells. This smells like vomit. It smells like straight up vomit. Like your child has the stomach flu and you're scooping macaroni and cheese vomit out of the carpet. I am not here for it. All right. I think that's it. I think that's all I have. I'm getting moody. I'm getting a headache from my bun and it's sort of making me feel like I'm late for my nursing home tour. Um, so I am so glad that you guys watched. I hope this was helpful. I will link everything that I can below and, uh, be sure and check out Dossier. You will not regret it. And please subscribe if you're not because it's free, as my son would say. And you can always unsubscribe later. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys later. Bye.